by default your screen resolution on Ubuntu or other Linux distros should automatically switch to that of your monitor. But if this doesn't happen or you manually want to change your resolution for whatever reason, then it's important to know how you can change it from within the OS. Here we're going to show you how to change your screen resolution in Ubuntu. Although it's a rare problem, it's also possible for your desktop to get stuck on the wrong resolution. This could happen because, for example, a bug in your GPU's drivers doesn't identify your monitor correctly. So if your desktop looks like a thumbnail in the center of your monitor or you have to scroll around to see everything, you could try to reset the resolution manually. Let's see how you can change the resolution in Ubuntu. The display settings. Resolution settings are found in the display settings. To access display settings, just simply right click on the desktop and select display settings. From there, click on the resolution option and select your monitor's native resolution. Use XRandR. You can also set your resolution through the XRandR command, which is included in most modern Linux distributions. Try typing XRandR into your favorite terminal, press enter and if it's there, a bunch of information about your monitor and its resolutions will appear. The active resolution will have an asterisk next to it. Note also your monitor's alias in the information appearing directly after the command, but before the resolutions list. To choose a different resolution, you can tell XRandR which monitor to target and what resolution to apply with the following command. XRandR, dash dash output, and then the monitor alias, and then dash dash mode, and then supported resolution. You can try any of the supported resolutions even if it isn't native to your monitor. If the correct resolution wasn't detected or if you want to use a custom one for any reason, XRandR can help with that too. You shouldn't deviate from Visa standards though and CVT is here to lend a helping hand. Also available by default in most distributions, CVT can calculate Visa coordinated video timing modes. Its use is simple, type CVT followed by the desired horizontal and then vertical resolution. And then to calculate these parameters for a non-standard, say, 15 by 900 resolution, you can enter CVT 1500 900. Select and copy to the clipboard everything from mode line up to the end. Then use it to create a new resolution from scratch with XRandR. Note that the 1504 times 900 underscore 60.00 in our case referred to the desired resolution and refresh rate of our monitor, but it was a name that CVT generated automatically. You are perfectly free to change it to anything you wish for the sake of convenience, because it's the numbers after the inverted commas that actually make the difference. So, to type in a new mode, XRandR, dash dash new mode, name of the mode, and then all the numbers from the cut and paste. And that's not all, since you also have to add the new mode as an option to the specific monitor. And you can do that with XRandR, dash dash add mode, then the monitor alias, and then the name of your created mode. Once you've done that, your new mode should be selectable from your display settings. If your desktop insists on remaining stuck on the wrong resolution, maybe it's time you upgraded your GPU drivers. Or if your issue lies with the text on the screen becoming very tiny on a high resolution monitor, then probably you need to do a fractional scaling instead. Links to all of that in the description. Okay, as always, thank you so much for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.